transforming a generation of American girls into sweatshirt ripping maniacs and turning herself into a pop culture icon. After the movie, she went to Yale, and ever since then, she has been busy. Fields has appeared in over 50 movies. Whoops, stop looking at her bottom, folks. Playing a variety of roles, including most memorably the femme fatale opposite Denzel Washington in Devil in a Blue Dress. Easy if you're thinking that Frank had anything to do with Coretta's death, and obviously you don't know very much about him. Frank doesn't go around beating people up. He prefers to use a knife as his weapon. And what do you prefer to use as your weapon? Well, why don't you search me and find out? Now Jennifer is starring in another groundbreaking role as Beth Porter, the biracial museum curator in Showtime's controversial program, The L Word. It is the first dramatic series to revolve around the lives and loves of lesbian women. I'm saying it feels like you're running from something. How can you say that when you've only known Tina, I don't need you to defend me. Okay? I, you know, what I want to know is how you justify pushing me so hard to come out as a black woman when all the while you've let us mistake you for a straight woman. And Jennifer Beals joins me in the studio now. It's so nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, you know, the flash dance thing, I wonder, will it ever not be a part of the obligatory Jennifer Beals, you remember her from flash dance. Do you ever get tired of hearing that song? Um, I don't, I don't get tired of talking about the film, but I also realize that I've done so many things since then that it's it's also nice to talk about more recent projects. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think back, you know, where I was when that movie came out. That was a long time ago. <laughs> but it sort of underscores what an icon the film was. I mean, it really was an anthem for a generation. It created a fashion look, and, and, and you were someone that women in that world really related to. Yeah, I think the film meant a lot to a lot of people, and for that I'm grateful. I mean, I think it helped a lot of people in some ways. How so? Um, I think the underlying message of the film is to follow your heart and to follow your dreams. And I think a lot of people are told from very early on that it should just their lives should just be about uh, making money mm -hmm. and at the expense of their feelings or what they truly want to do. So I think that film liberated some people just judging from the letters that I received anyway. Is that kind of a I mean, you know, saying that you, within the whole context of it's a pop film, I mean, it's not, you know. Yeah, but you know, it's it, your prize winning book. Or but something. isn't that great that people do get meaning out of something that really is a, a pop piece of, of, of movie dumb? I mean, I think that's, yeah, that's kind of extraordinary. I wonder if that's not a little bit of your own mantra because you've done, you've worked so consistently. 50 movies, that's I don't know when you get vacation, but that's a lot of work, and yet you've really been very eclectic and very selective in what you've chosen. What's been your modus operandi as you've gone forward? It, it has been following, uh, for the most part, it's been following the parts that really speak to me in a more profound way. I mean, every now and again, I take a job because I have to pay my mortgage. Right. But by and large, it's really about what excites me. You know, what, what do I think is going to excite me? What excites you about the L word? It's certainly part of what appears to be a trend. There are now, I think, nine lesbian or gay-related TV shows on, which is pretty remarkable considering it's like 1% or 3% of the population, depending on which survey you, you look right, at. Right, but I think what's interesting now, at least according to the Human Rights uh, Campaign Organization, 314% um, more people are coming out of the closet. Uh, than and you think programs like this will help them feel confident to do that? Well, I, I don't know about that, but I think that the fact that you have this much programming, because really, I mean, what's on television also has to be supported by the economy because people are buying advertising time for these shows. You bet. Um, so I think there's a recognition uh, among advertisers that this community is growing because more people are... Uh, saying to themselves, you know, I don't want to live in the closet. It's much too painful. I want to come out. And uh, I think that's being reflected also in the programming and the advertising. In the movie, um, it's called, in the program, it's called the L word. Why don't they just come out and say the lesbian word or the lesbian show? Well, I think the point of the title is that it speaks to the invisibility of the community. You know, that this is a group of people that have been uh, largely uh, invisible in the culture. And when they have been visible, it's oftentimes as the vampire or the serial killer or something like something. Sort Never of the positive. normal person who gets up in the morning, goes to work, yeah, has concerns her bills about, to pay. You know, love or loneliness or their job or, you know, starting a family. I mean, one of the things that interested me so much about my character, Bet, uh, was that on one hand she's this very driven type A personality and then 
There's this other side of her that is so much more diffident than anyone could possibly uh, expect. And I think for me to play that opposition was really interesting. For anybody who's got kids, because in some time zones we're on when the kids might be in here, I want to tell you now's the time to tell the little guys to go in there and get a snack because you <laughs> might not want them to see the clip that we're about to show. Because there are some scenes in the L Word that get pretty steamy and one of them involves you with the woman who plays your love interest. We're going to roll the clip and then we'll just talk about what it's like to be a part of this kind of scene, um, which is a typical love scene with maybe an atypical couple. Okay. There it is, the L Word. About scenes no, like that. You know what's so interesting is that, to me, if, if that were a heterosexual love scene, you wouldn't have to say to the audience, you know, send the children in for a snack. I mean, I don't think that you would, or would you? Well, I think it depends on what the nature of the involvement is. Right. And, and I think, yeah, at least I would, but you know, you're talking to a mom with three kids. So when you have people on and they have a love scene and you show the clip, you don't warn them? You know what, we probably deal. wouldn't use that clip. Because right, right. a kiss like that between a man and a woman is no big deal. It's no big deal. We've seen right, it a lot, right, and right. I think that's really the big difference. Not everybody has seen a kiss like that. Right. It's interesting. So it's, it's, because it's, in the end of the day, it's about uh, love and how you show love and how you share love, and and to me, that's so much um, you know healthier than than some of the things that we see on television in terms of violence and corruption and things. You are a happily married woman. You have yes. two stepkids that you're helping um, to bring up. But I wonder when you're in a role like this, does it by association become a fact that you're expected to be an advocate for the gay and lesbian community? Not that you might not have been anyway. I don't think anybody expects me to be an advocate for any community. Um, it is my pleasure to talk about issues that I've learned about in the show because frankly as a heterosexual woman you know, there were so many things I didn't even consider. Like, I didn't even think about uh, gay rights, really, very often. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even know that, that uh, sexual orientation is not a part of the federal hate crime bill. Or and do you think shows like this will further the acceptance of gay marriage, for instance? Because that's certainly a big political issue right now. Well, I think what it will help do is point out that uh, the ways in which we're similar are much more numerous than the ways in which we're different and by following these stories as truthfully as we can mm -hmm. a group of people who at one time were perhaps uh, misconstrued as being deviant will be seen to be like anybody else with their own ambitions and their loves and their loneliness and uh, I think that in some ways can be helpful. All right. Quite a museum curator. Jennifer Bills, it's great to meet you. The show's <laughs> called The L Word, and it plays on Showtime. When we come back, gas prices just keep going up, so we had to ask, how much oil is out, out there really? And is there a chance we could ever run out? We'll find out next.